Fly Fishing Insider Podcasters. I got a tip for you this week. This is a dubbing tool. This is by far the very best dubbing tool I've found. Um, a lot of us use various different methods. I shouldn't say it's a dubbing tool, but it's a, um, it's a form of wax in, in shape. Most people use a wax filament. They dab it on and then they touch dab um, all of their, their dubbing, et cetera. You can use it for like animal hair dubbing, synthetics, long hair synthetics, et cetera. The key is to build a good dubbing loop um, or to have a nice dubbing thread. Um, one of the things I like to use, I got this from, uh, uh, let's see, Fly Fish Food. This is their dubbing tool um, that they sell. I think it's made by Stonfo. Yep. And uh, it's a great tool. Excellent for making dubbing loops. You don't necessarily have to have a dubbing loop, but that's one way to do it. I'm going to use this Daiichi hook here to simulate like uh, a bugger or something, etc. I'll use some bright thread so you can see it. I'll tie in my thread. I'll bring my thread back, etc. Break it off. Uh, I'll continue the wrap. Uh, I'm going to just go towards the back of the hook here. Um, I'm going to wrap back and forth just so we can get a nice uh, base here going. Okay. So I've got some uh, some nicks in my threads, et cetera. That's probably pretty old. So there's a couple ways to do dubbing loops. One is a, uh, or dubbing, one is a loop. So I create my thread, I go over, boom, I lock it in place. Um, I like to keep my thread kind of tight actually, because it really helps. Um, but that will make my dubbing loop. I'll wind my thread to forward. Okay, now I got a dubbing loop. Boom, How, how's the easiest to see this? Okay, so you're there. I'm gonna insert my dubbing in here and I'm gonna um, hold it in place. So let me grab some dubbing. Um, just a little dubbing kit I made, uh, pretty cool. It's got a nice little patch I found. It's a lot of common colors I use. <laughs> One thing I do is put my phone number on everything. Um, but there you go. All right, I'm gonna grab some dubbing. Let's see here. I'll use, uh, maybe I'll use some brown just to give you guys a good perspective here. Okay. Okay, so I got a little dubbing. First things first, you don't need much dubbing. Most people put way too much on. I squeeze my dubbing down, hold it in place. I spread it out. Okay, now with the dubbing tool, you can just wrap this. This works really well. With your new tool, you won't have to wrap it. You'll be able to add a long thread of dubbing. I wanna show you that right now. So this is my simple method. I got some dubbing tool in place. I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna insert my dubbing tool. Boom, pull it tight. That holds all my thread in place. I'm gonna to start to spin it. What's it gonna do? It's gonna spin up my dubbing. I got a really long thread here. So now I got some dubbing spun up on the end here, right? So what's my favorite thing to do is I start to wrap that up. Boom, I get a nice little threaded loop in place, a good little body, okay? Got some nice dub there. All right, here's the difference. I'm gonna take that loop and uh, I'm gonna tie it off for you. because I'm gonna show you the next method. You don't need a loop. All right, so I come in here with my scissors, cut that off. Here's the cool tip. Most of the time you take your thread like this and you're like, oh, I'm gonna put some dubbing on there. Okay, let's do it again. I'm gonna use a different color. I'll use, uh, say, green. I start to put thread dubbing on here. This is a lot. I have to do two things. I gotta wind it in place. That's gonna be a, a really tight dubbing loop. Okay, so I got a really nice tight dubbing loop. Always gonna wind it the same way. So now that dubbing loop starts to look different. It's not quite as buggy, etc. It's a lot thicker. The next method is I take my thread, and now that I have my thread in place, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna touch it with wax. Most people use some sort of wax or something in place here, and then they'll do what's called a touch dub. So we'll take their next color of thread, 
We'll have this sticky wax and they'll touch it on there. And what the wax does is creates a bond between your dubbing. So it grabs the dubbing and holds it on the thread. This is where the trick gets different. All right, so we're gonna step away from this for a second. I'm gonna show you a couple things. One is a piece of plastic like this. Okay, this piece of plastic came from, it looks like a tomatoes can or something or uh, container of some sort. All I did was bend it over, cut it into a square. I left one side a little longer than the other. The reason I do that is so I can slip it onto my thread. I press onto my thread, slide it in, and then slide it back and forth. Okay, right? So again, if I'm going to turn this around, get it on my high side, I slide it in, and I can slide it back and forth. This can create a nice um, little tool. A real simple thing I did is fold it in half, and I added a staple. Okay? All the staple does is keeps it folded in half and tight. If I look down the center, it's tight. So you need a piece of plastic. Um, I happen to have a piece of plastic here. This is junk from a set of earrings or something that my daughter had. So find a piece of plastic, something that, that hard plastic that you like uh, get in bubble wrap, etc. Take a piece of it, boom, 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 cut it out. Get yourself a square with a staple in it, a little longer edge on the one side. Okay, you got your tool made. Now you have to add the ingredients. This is the secret ingredient. Go to your grocery store and pick up a glue trap, spider trap, mouse trap, etc. Okay, so you're gonna take this glue trap. What, what are you doing? You're gonna open it up. Don't touch it, it's sticky. It's gonna get all over you, all right? You're gonna take a little bit of this glue trap and you're gonna scrape it off inside of your tool. Now your tool is gonna to have this sticky glue that lasts forever. You can make one of these tools, it's gonna to last you for years. I mean, it depends on how much you tie flies, but I tie a lot of flies and I've had the same one last years at time. All right, so I'm gonna take my tool. In this case, I'm just gonna use my, uh, back end of my tweezers. I'm gonna scrape up a little glue. Oh. Already got it on my finger. Stuff is messy. So you scrape up a little. It's really gummy to get it on your tools and whatnot. So I'm gonna do it down here. Let's see. I'm gonna adjust my camera so you guys can see. But um, essentially, do this. Okay, let's get you lined up. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna take my tool, scrape up some of my glue, wrap it around here. It takes a bit of time. Don't worry, you don't need too much. I'm gonna take my tool now. All right, put it on this side. Take my tool, I'm gonna open it up, and I'm just gonna squeeze that off in there. Now, if I look at my tool, got a bunch of glue in there. Ugh. Glue everywhere. All right, you got your glue in there. That's your dubbing tool. Now that's your wax. Let it close up. All right, we're gonna see what we can do now. Now, All right, we got our dubbing tool in place. This is our tool. We're gonna to take our thread. We're gonna insert our high side on. We're gonna rub our tool up and down. We're gonna pull it off, okay? What you don't wanna do is get it all over your fingers because then everything sticks to you. All right, we're gonna use yellow. I'm gonna use my other hand so I don't get it. I'm gonna to touch dub. Whoa, look at that, it's just sticking. Right? Everywhere I put the glue, it's sticking. Okay, I touch dub. I'm gonna wind my thread back up. Start to wind my thread. Boom, there's your dubbing loop. You never have to use your wax again. You're all set. Um, and you're done. That's it, guys. You just gotta get after it a little bit and uh, 
all your set. Do your next dubbing loop and wrap it up. So your tool is for review. Piece of plastic, any piece of junk plastic, cut it so one end is longer than the other. Insert your glue inside. You can pick it up at Walmart or your grocery store, etc. This is your dubbing tool that will last forever. And by golly, it's the best thing you'll ever use as a dubbing wax in the near future. Hope you guys go from there. Enjoy it. We'll talk to you soon.